Hello everyone, my name is Saf. You're watching the OnTech TV and in this tutorial series, we'll be discussing more or less all about database and how the database is integrated with APN and how you can implement it. So this learning series will be totally based upon uh, learning database from scratch. So if you find any space where you feel that you are confident in that section, so you can play the video with 2x speed. Thank you. So let's begin. As you can see, we are having a default uh, integration with APHP MyAdmin for all APN uh, accounts. And we can uh, use this server, database server, for interacting with our applications. So it is by default present. And we'll be using it for our database explanation because for APN, uh, most of the companies use default APN uh, database integrated server and uh, in order to understand this we need to understand first that mysql is a language using mysql you can understand the core functionalities of a database language it is a rdbms whereas php myadmin is just the name of the server so server is something like you are hosting a place on which a database transactional query can be ran. So that is why we are using PHP MyAdmin server. Please don't get confused that you are using PHP MyAdmin. It's not a language. It's basically a server where you are hosting uh, the database uh, language. So sorry, the, uh, you are hosting the RDBMS and you are using database language to query it. So without wasting time, let's see uh, this uh, UI part. This UI part is good for those people who are new to the database and they do not have the practice to write queries. As you are uh, new, so you would be more interested to do the UI part rather than writing the queries. So as you can see, uh, we have, when we click on database right now, let's start fresh, click on home. We click on database. We see we can we are having uh, the list of database. If it is having a single database, it is a single database. If it is having more than one database, you can see the list of database and you can select that, that particular database which you want to work upon. So if I am using this APN database, I can click on APN and I can see the list of tables now that I am having. So inside one, the moment I selected database, I can see the database is selected and now I can query my tables which are present inside this database. Then we have search option. We can use search uh, using wildcard in database. And then we have query option. We can uh, put single query or multi, uh, like multi table query and everything. So this is more or less, uh, which I recommend you to practice uh, SQL by writing uh, queries within yourself because it is more or less, see, SQL is just more or less related to thinking. How logically can you think? If you can think uh, in a more logical way that how can you bring the data and how you can derive the meaningful inferences to the data. So the user who is viewing in the data should be making meaningful, meaningful sense to it. So we have to design and we have to plan our data architecture in such a way that that is useful to the user. So coming back to the topic that if you are ready to practice uh, queries, uh, by writing them manually and uh, avoiding the support from the UI part which is present here, definitely you will gain practice on it. And once you are gaining practice, so it will be much more easier to work on any other uh, language once you are having a grip of one single RDBMS. Then we have uh, export. You can export uh, a set of tables or you can export a single table by selecting a table. I'll, say, I'll tell you how to export a single table also. Also, you can import you know, the particular database into APN. So you have a database file into, like it is a zip file, you can import that as well. Also, you can have operational type of work using UI. So all these things which I'm showing you can be done using queries also. But I'm showing you how you can do it using UI in the initial days of your learning. So this is create new table. You can add a table inside this database as this database is selected. You can add a table. You can rename the database to a particular name and it will be worked on. You can copy database to another database. Like you can replicate your database, just kind of creating a photocopy of, a, of your current database, which can carry the structure and data of all the tables present inside it, along with the permissions and everything. These are the 
things then we have routines routine is the last topic of this learning so i'll be going later on we have events we have triggers so these are advanced topics which will make no meaning for the series if we discuss it right now we have to go from scratch this is the ui part where you can see the list of tables uh, floating around which are actual nothing but which are these tables only but in a ui format so this is how it is for the structure part uh, in the next video series we'll be working upon the table structure and right now we had a word about the api and database only in the coming series we will have a word about uh, the structure part of the tables and how to how to use and utilize the database uh, uh, server for ui part of tables and in the coming days then we'll be going with the separate table commands ddl dml and dcl and so on if you really like this series and you want me to cover a specific topic feel free to drop me the topics on telegram and uh, i'll be happy to help so stay tuned thank you